Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to install and run the FTX video model on a local computer. The FTX video model is a powerful and free to use AI model for generating videos from text descriptions or images. As you can see over here, we are using Comfy UI to run the FTX video model locally. We are running the model on a computer with NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24GB RAM and with 48GB regular RAM memory and the Intel i9 processor. It takes around 30 to 60 seconds to generate this video over here from the textual description that you can see over here. And here is how it goes. A woman with short blonde hair and light skin smiles at another woman with long dark hair. And let's look at the video and you can see over here the generated video. Of course, there is other part of the text and you can see the frame rate, you can see the width and height of the generated video and you can see the length in frames. What is important over here is that we can increase the number of frames, that is you can even generate a video that lasts for one minute. I didn't try to do that, however I was able to generate easily videos lasting for 15 seconds. Before we explain how to install and run the model on the local computer, let's first demonstrate the real-time execution of the model. Over here I changed the text description and the text description looks like this. A man walks toward the window, looks out and then turns around. He has short dark hair, dark skin and is wearing a brown coat over a red and gray scarf, etc. Okay, let's click here on Q and the generation starts. Over here you can see the progress. You can see that it takes around 2.22 seconds for one iteration and let's wait. It's going to take maybe around a minute and a half to generate the video. And note over here that the length is 209 frames and if you divide this by 25 frames per second you will see the duration of the video. It's around 9 seconds. So let's wait and see. Over here you can see my GPU power as well as the processor and memory. You can see that GPU CPU is completely consumed and you can see the memory over here. And it should be done. Let's see over here. We are almost there. And then let's look at the video. And here it is. The video looks amazing. Of course, this video requires fine-tuning and some other things. Okay, let's start with installation. In addition to this video tutorial, I created a separate website that contains all the links that are necessary to install FTX video. A link to that website will be given in the description below. The first step is to install 7-Zip. To do that, you need to go to this link and you need to click on download to download 7-zip. Save it, then go to the downloads folder and execute the 7-zip file and install 7-zip. OK, click on close. Let's continue. The next step is to install the portable version of Comfy UI. For that purpose, you need to go to this web page and you need to find the installation file. Here it is. Click here and save the file to the downloads folder. And then it's going to take a while to download since you can see over here that the file is 1.5 gigabyte. This is a port port portable version of Comfy UI and the installation is very simple. We will simply extract this folder and then we will simply copy the folder to our C drive and we will run Comfy UI. Of course, there is a more complex way of installing Comfy UI by using Python. However, we are not going to do it in this video tutorial. Good. 
let's go to the downloads folder and then let me just do it again here it is and then do the right click and click on extract all and click on extract again the extraction process might take a while since there are around 30,000 files after the folder is extracted open it and copy this folder over here or you can simply cut it then go to the C drive and paste it over here by pressing Ctrl V and the folder will be pasted and copied over here now if you open it up you will see several things over here to start Confi UI you need to click on this file run NVIDIA GPU and here I assume that you have an NVIDIA GPU so double click and you'll see that this command window or command prompt will be open and here it is know that Confi UI will automatically open in your web browser with this address okay let's close our web browser and let's close this window and let's continue the next step is to install git and git support for large files for that purpose go to this website and click here to download the newest version of git and save it then let's go to the downloads folder and let's double click and let's install git and click on yes click on next click on next I'll click here yes next next here I'm going to select Visual Studio Code however you can choose the default option click on next click on next click on next 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 once more next 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 and install okay this will install git which will enable us to download remote repositories don't worry if you don't understand what git is doing everything will be explained in this video tutorial and let's finish good the next step is to install git support for large files for that purpose let's go to this link and let's download and let's save it in the downloads folder then let's click here and let's execute the file click on yes accept the terms of agreement next and that's it finish good the next step is to install the LTX model files in Confi UI first we need to install Confi UI manager for that purpose we need to download the script file here is the link let me open it up so you can see it over here you can see over here where the file is or you can go to my website you can do the right click and do you can then save link as and over here make sure that you save the link in the appropriate folder go to the C drive then find the Confi UI folder and save it inside of this folder don't go one step further that is don't go to this folder just save it in this base folder okay the next step is to execute this file so let's go here and here's the file let's double click on the file to execute it and after you double click on the file you will see that in command prompt something is being executed that is the script is being executed okay let's verify that everything is properly executed and install click here to start Confi UI now wait until Confi UI opens and here it is now over here in the top menu you should see manager so open the manager and if you can see this this means that the manager is properly installed good here I decreased the resolution a little bit and usually the manager will show up here you can change the resolution by pressing and holding control and using the middle mouse button to change the resolution of icons of and everything okay let's continue next let's close the web browser and close the command prompt 
and let's continue with additional installation instructions. Let me close this folder and let's continue. Next, we need to install the Confi UI LTX video node. So let's learn how to do that. Again, let's practice opening Confi UI, double click on this file. And we need to install Confi UI. Let me just see the name. Confi UI LTX video node. So let me copy the name. Then I will go to Confi UI. Then over here I will open Manager. Then click on Custom Nodes Manager. And over here paste the name. And here it is. Confi UI LTX video. And click on Install. And then after this node is installed, you will see here that restart is required. So click here to restart everything, click OK, and if you go to command prompt, you can see that ConfUI is being restarted and wait for a while. You can see here reconnecting. Good. After we install ConfUI LTX video node, we need to install ConfUI video helper suit. So let me copy it over here, the name, and let's again repeat the procedure. Wait until reconnecting is completed. After reconnecting is completed, click again on Manager, click on Custom Nodes, over here Paste, and you should see Comfy UI Video Helper Suit, and click on Install, and again, wait for a while, and then click on Restart, click OK, and wait until Confi UI is restarted. Okay. Next, we need to download and install the model checkpoints and files. We need to download this file. This file should be downloaded from this link. So I will open it up over here. Then I will download the file. However, before downloading the file, let's see where we need to save this file. We need to save this file inside of this folder, ConfiUI Models Checkpoints. Okay, so let's be careful and remember this, ConfiUI Model Checkpoints. So let's go over here to the link. Here is the link. Click on Download. Then let's see where the folder is. Go to the C drive, go to this folder here, then find Models, find Checkpoints, and click on Save. And over here, the download process will start. The file is around 9 GB and it's going to take several minutes to download this file. Good. However, we also need an additional file. We need this file over here. This file should be downloaded from this link. I will open it up. Here is the link. And the file should be saved in the models text encoders folder. Okay. So let's remember this ConfUI models text encoders. So let's go here, click on download. It's not going to be in the checkpoints. Let's go again to C, then this folder, then this folder. Then we need to find the models folder. And let me now make sure that I don't make a mistake over here. The file should be saved in the appropriate folder. The folder name should be text encoders. Here it is, and let's save the file. And again, let's wait now since both files are being downloaded. Good. While these two files are being downloaded, let's download an additional repository. This additional repository will contain additional model files. You will not need them initially, however, it's still good to have them. Let's open a command prompt. And over here, in the command prompt, we need to execute the commands shown over here. First of all, let's go to the C drive. Then let's go to our folder. Then let's go to ConfiUI. Then let's go to Models. Then let's go to Text Encoders. And then over here, let's clone this remote repository. Here it is. 
I have to warn you that it's going to take a while to download this repository, maybe even five to 10 minutes. Consequently, you need to be patient. Meanwhile, you can double check the download progress for these two files. Okay, they're almost downloaded over here and over here you need to be patient since it's going to take several minutes to download this additional repository. When this additional repository is downloaded, we just need to download the configuration file and we are good to go. And the final step is to download the configuration file. We need to download the JSON configuration file and here is the link. Now, you can simply copy and paste the content of this file and give it a name and type JSON as extension. However, I will simply do this and save link as and over here you don't need to save this file in the Confi UI folder. However, I'm going to do that. You can save it anywhere you want. Click on save and now the file will be saved. Let's see where the file is saved. File is saved over here. The next step is to close any previous session of Confi UI and let's close this command prompt and let's start ConfUI from scratch. So click over here and now ConfUI is started. By the way, over here you can see my configuration of the computer and we need to open this file. So click on workflow, click on open and over here find the downloaded configuration file, click on open and let's observe what happened. Over here, the text prompt changed. You can see here what type of the safe sensors we are using. You can see type. Over here, you can adjust several things. You can adjust width, height, length. Let's increase the length to be, for example, 145 frames. Here you can see the frame rate. Here you can see the steps. For example, more steps mean better quality. So let's do 40 steps. Let's keep these options as they are. And here is another important parameter that you can play with. Usually this is the guidance. I usually like to put 3.5. And over here you can see some additional things such as quality, methods, etc. So let's run everything. To run everything, simply type on Q and then open over here the command prompt and you can see what's happening starting server loaded completely and let's wait until everything is being generated now over here it's first time you run the model is going to take some time to load everything and here is the generation open task manager and observe the resource consumption you can see the gpu you can see the cpu and you can see the gpu memory what is interesting is that GPU memory is not completely consumed. However, the GPU processor works with full power. And then let's wait for a while and let's see what happens. It's going to probably take around maybe a minute or so to generate this. However, this is really nice and super fast, to be honest. I was surprised the first time I opened Confi UI and I was able to run this since I was not being able to run this model from Python code. Okay, so let's see what happens. Now here in Confi UI, if you go back, the video should appear over here. So let's wait for a while and let's wait for the video. And here it is. Here is the video. Looks amazing. Very nice. And then, of course, over here you can change your menu. You can change the text prompt. However, here is one warning. There is a pattern that you need to follow when generating the text prompt. And for that purpose, and to better inform yourself, go to the official LTX video GitHub page and read more on how to generate the proper text prompts. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.